And unfortunately, it looks like Mississippi is getting another round of showers, thunderstorms with the potential for severe as well as possible tornadoes. You can see it right now out to the far east. Most of that is still brought in by the exact same front that brought in the first round of destructive tornadoes, but it's going to be overpowered by this secondary cold front. That's actually going to be pushing through tonight. You can already start to see as I zoom in, certainly some northern regions like Hillsboro, Meridian, Hamilton are already starting to see those winds change to a more northerly flow. That's going to leave us relatively cool to start off the morning. About 50 degrees is what I have. Relatively clear skies, thanks in fact to those northerly winds, but well, I basically have that front stalling out and it's going to stop right near the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to increase our cloud cover. Temperatures going to be a little bit more mild than what we've seen over the last few days. I don't see widespread 80s, but we do have the chance for some showers and thunderstorms during the later parts of the evening. I'll break it down for you here on the future cast. Still seeing the northerly wind. Cloud cover does come back. Most of the southern regions, we're talking places like Llano, Burnett, Georgetown, even pushing down into the Brazos Valley overnight around 10 o'clock. Not a ton of activity, but then we start to see a little bit more activity popping up right around Franklin, Centerville, a couple of little strong thunderstorm cells are going to be possible really during those overnight hours and early morning into Tuesday. Shouldn't affect our commute all that much, but we are going to be left with a lot of that cloud cover over the next couple of days. How about severe risk? I do have a level one marginal risk. Most of that is just going to be to the south of Waco. And again, biggest threats here are going to be wind and hail. I don't have any significant tornado threat as of now, and that's certainly good. Unfortunately, though, while these storms do come through, I'm not seeing widespread heavy rainfall, so we might get a few hundredths, maybe a few tenths of an inch if we're lucky. I mean, we'll just take what we can get at this point. Here's your six news seven day planner. Always weekend forecast temperatures do actually take a slight dip because of this front, and you know what? That's right around where we should be for this time of year, but those winds are picking up as well. Look at that northerly winds getting up to about 20 miles an hour sustained gusts easily getting up to about 30. Then we start to warm up Thursday, Friday. Notice it kind of seems like what we saw last week. Yep, we have another westerly frontal system, and yes, it does have the potential for severe weather, and that's pretty early on. Right now, though, it's staying far to the west. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.